சிம்புதேவன் இயக்கத்தில் காமெடி கிங் யோகி பாபு நடிப்பில் போட் வெற்றி நடை போடுகிறது ராஜ்கமல் பிலிம்ஸ் இன்டர்நேஷனல் உலக நாயகன் கமல்ஹாசன் வழங்கும் சிவகார்த்திகேயன் நடிக்கும் அமரன் அக்டோபர் முப்பத்தி ஒன்று தீபாவளி முதல் உலகம் எங்கும் How dedicated Chian Vikram is. Do you have seen anything on set? Did I see anything on set? <laughs> yeah. I worked with him every day speaking. for one year. Of course, yeah, I saw a lot on set. This guy is like this is a transformative actor. He's one minute he's like a stick. Next minute he's muscly. Next minute he's dead. Next minute he looks like uh, next minute he's got no hair. Next minute he's like then he's a monster. Then he's a kind of, I'm like this guy's really interesting. Apart from the lead actors and directors, uh, how the people in the set treated you and how they saw you? They were so welcoming and but they were looking at this white British actor for the first time he's playing a parallel lead to Vikram which is unusual and weird. Mm. That doesn't really happen in Indian mm. Indian cinema. So I think they were looking at me like, "Who is this guy?" But they were being really kind of like really nice at the same time but like, "Who is this guy?" Mm. In Indian cinema yeah. we are used to to watch the English actors as only antagonist. Do you want to explore any other things in Indian cinema? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, this has been a big conversation with me. I've been talking to a lot of people in India about this. Yes, Lord Clem my character is is antagonist. But Hello Mr. Daniel. Bro, how are you? I am fine, you? Yeah, good. Nice to see you. How many days you have been here for the promotion? Uh this is my second day of promoting. I, yeah, I I flew into Chennai uh 3 days ago. 3 days ago. So I had one day of rest, started promoting yesterday and but today's been like flat out. Apart from the movie experience, how about the climate in India? Well, you know if you know anything about me, you know I'm I'm used to this now because I spent one year doing Thangaland. So I literally I think I went through every season like like spring summer autumn winter a bit around again I mean I literally I had to acclimatize so fast because it was such an intent I mean you guys you guys all know better than I do how intense it is you guys are much more used to it but what what I found really funny was that when it was really really hot all <laughs> all the indian actors were like this is okay I mean what are you worried about and I was like guys man, I can't breathe this is really hot but when it got cold the englishman was like this is not cold and they were like it's freezing daniel it's freezing and i would be like no but this is not cold so yes i mean we had <laughs> we had to, we had a bit of an exchange but um i'm used to it now yeah have you adapted yourself for this climate i i, I really have adapted i mean you know paranjit was a like shooting a, a big movie a long movie you know he needed an actor who was going to come from the west but not have the western sensibilities he wanted someone who could fit in to the indian way of or you know in his case the tamil way of of working um so i had to just become a climatized very very fast because it wasn't just weather it was everything right it, it's it, you know it's um but um fortunately i'd had some experience of india before i'd worked with a, an indian director called tarsam singh who directed he's a hot, he's an indian director but he lives in hollywood he's a hollywood director who's directed the cell with jennifer lopez and he directed me in um uh, a film called the fall which we shot in rajasthan but that was an american film that's not an indian film okay. but i remember being there for 6 months and if you that you know it was hot and everything else but nothing like okay. i mean chennai was like woo yes okay. come on it was it was it was hot can you say some of the favorite places of yours sir in chennai okay okay, okay nakal yeah i mean uh, that's a shooting place yeah, yeah. I, it was magical it was i really fell in love with it there look there was no one there you know it's a national park right but we had it all to ourselves pretty much and i would just look around me and you'd hear these beautiful sort of birds singing and the sound of the water you know the woods you know the that the big as the when everything sort of it comes down from the mountains so depending on the rainfall up there it can get pretty intense and we were filming in the water yeah. but 
it was such a magical place. We were all together and we all kind of, we had a, such a nice time. It was, it was, um, it was a privilege to film in, in such a beautiful place. And um, it was very different from the landscape in Rajasthan. It's, it's different, very different. So it was nice to experience that. And I was blown away by, uh, I was blown away by, is it ho hockey uh, There will be any specific reason to cast any actors in a movie. Why Paranjit casted you in this movie? Is there any specific reason yeah. he told you? When he, when he called me, I think, I don't know what, I'm not sure what, what he'd seen, what work he'd seen or whatever, but we had a long chat on Zoom. Mm. And he wanted to know if I was the kind of actor who would be able to um, deal with filming in certain environments, mm. whether I was going to have a problem with that or whether I was going to be, you know, according to him, whether, was I going to be tough enough to do it? Mm. And um, because, you know, Paranjit will, will push actors like hard. He will push you really hard, right? Mm. So... After talking to me for a few hours, he, he understood implicitly that I was different. I was, suppose I was different to maybe other Western actors. I'm not sure. Um, but he, um, he just was like, I think you can do this. I, I really want you to do it. He also said he liked my um, intensity and that was important for him for Clement. Okay, uh, there will be many differences in handling the actors, uh, yeah. I think, uh, in Hollywood, in Hollywood, like the... Yeah. Do you find any differences in hospitality, in handling the actors by the directors? Yes. Okay. What are the differences? Uh, I think there's more of a level of respect here. Okay. You, you guys are so gracious and so respectful. It's really nice. It's really nice. You know, it, it's, not, it's not easy to be in this industry, to be in my industry, to be in your industry. It's not easy. You know? It's very hard. And um, uh, people, the public don't really understand how hard, you know what I mean, Ro. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I think you know, Ranjit is very keen to make sure everyone is treated very well because he knows how hard the work is. He knows what we have to put in. The, the other difference is that in the West, I've done so many projects and there's been amazing projects and not so amazing projects and amazing actors and not so amazing actors, amazing directors, not so amazing. Mm. But I think there's a cultural difference in that. On Thangalan, I felt like it was my family. Mm. I felt at home and yet like, I don't have that sense when I'm, I don't know, I don't really have that sense in the West. It's more methodical, it's technical. There's a lot of money at stake, millions of dollars sometimes. You have to form like instant, like you, you are, there's no room for, whereas you could, with Ranjit, I could explore different things, right? I have that space and the time to, you know, evolve into the character. So yeah, a lot, a lot of differences, man. There's a lot of differences. I like the way the, they, you know, you guys work in India. I like it. There's a there's a chaos to it, but actually the chaos is structured. Does that make sense? It's like a structured chaos, and that kind of suits me. I like having to adapt and. Before entering into Tamil cinema, what's your views and thoughts on Tamil cinema? I was one of the ignorant. I was so ignorant because. If you talk to people outside of India, they will always mention Bollywood. Okay. It's Bollywood, man. It's always Bollywood. I had no idea there was Tollywood and Collywood. And, yeah, I had no idea there was loads of... I was like... Because when, when my agent approached me and said, there's an Indian director who wants to speak to you, the first thing I thought... I mean, to be honest, I had a little, little bit of an education because I'd spoken to Shekhar Kapoor about things and I and Tarsam Singh. But in general, I was ignorant. Um, and I, I immediately did that classic, oh, is, is it a Bollywood film? And of course I found out, you know, he said, no, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm from Tamil Nadu and this is, not, this is not Bollywood. And then obviously when I did my research and I started watching Paranjit film, I was like, ah, okay, man, this is so different. So I'm still, learning i'm still my education is still growing and there are so many indian films i mean so many different regions and so i've made a promise um to the guys that i'm gonna you know keep educating myself but in terms of knowledge of tamil 
film films it was it was it was non-existent um until i started watching power ranger stuff and and i'd seen elements obviously i'd done my my I'd done my research on Vikram, uh, this incredible actor. And I was like, who's that, man? Who is that? I want to work with this guy. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so to answer your question, not, not, it wasn't, I didn't have much. How dedicated Chian Vikram is. Do you have seen anything on set? Did I see anything on set? <laughs> yeah. I worked with him every day <laughs> for one year. Of course, I saw a lot on set. Um, when I was sent the, the uh, the the clips of his work before I agreed to do the movie. Um, the first thing I thought to myself was, this guy is like, this is a transformative actor. He's one minute he's like a stick, next minute he's muscly, next minute he's dead, next minute he looks like, uh, next minute he's got no hair, next minute he's like, then he's a monster, then he's a kind of I'm like. This guy's really interesting. And when I met him, oh, you know, you always are a bit guarded about is this going to be an arrogant actor? Is he going to be, what's he going to be like? But he was gracious, kind, generous, straight away. He was welcomed me. And he was this very, he is this very curious individual, wants to know about you and what you are and what you do. But most importantly, when we got on set, we just clicked and we just had this mutual understanding and, and I loved working with that guy. I work with him anytime. He knows this. Um, he is so dedicated, such a perfectionist. Like even if it's slightly wrong, he wants to go again, which suits me because I'm exactly the same. I'm like, no, no. I think we both drove Ranjit crazy to times. I'm like, no Ranjit, it wasn't good enough. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, he's incredible. He's really, I think he's genuinely, I know you're going to think I'm being biased, but um, he's genuinely one of the best actors in India, hands down. He's one of the best, like, it doesn't matter the region and it doesn't matter. He's one of the best in India as a whole. Apart from the lead actors and directors, uh, how the people in the set treated you and how they saw you? The crew. When I said earlier about respectful, they they were. Did they give you any Indian foods to try? They were well. They were just amazing. They they made me feel very emotional because they were so welcoming and. But they were looking at this white British actor, who for the first time is playing a parallel lead to Vikram, which is unusual and weird. That doesn't really happen in Indian Indian cinema. So I think they were looking at me like. Who is this guy? But they were being really kind of like really nice at the same time, but like, who is this guy? But um, it's funny because they all wanted to ask me about Hollywood and they wanted to ask me about okay. lots of American stars. They were like, what's it like? What's, you know, but the Ameri the, the um, sorry, the Tamil crew that, that um, uh, Ranjit hired, uh, so hardworking, so dedicated to him and us, um, they lit genuinely, if it wasn't for them, I don't know how we could have got through this whole, um, but they treated me with such amazing respect. I would never, ever forget it. And I was so far away from home for a long time. And they made me feel like they were my family and they always want to give you something. It's like, Oh, I just, you know, there's this thing. Do you want to have it? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. But, um, they always want to share something with you and um, they were amazing, amazing. So everyone in Chennai, when I was here, made me feel like I was the most welcome person in the world. Everyone looked after me. I never had any person be rude or anything. So I will always be thankful for that, always. Do you have find any difference in the making? I mean, uh, in the action sequences, because this is the most realistic movie, realistic action sequences are there in the movie. Do you, do you find any differences in the making uh, when comparing to English movies? Yeah, it's a huge difference. The, the biggest difference is, for years in the West, I've been pestering directors, ah. can I do that stunt? They're like, no. Okay. I'm like, can I do that stunt? No. Insurance reasons. Okay, so the stunt guys come in. I mean, there's a couple of actors you know, like Tom Cruise, because he's powerful enough to say, I'll pay for the insurance, whatever it is, so he will do his own stuff. But in general, they won't let you do it, right? 
only minor, minor, minor things. Well, the big difference was I come over to, to Chennai and Paranjit is like, okay, we've got the stunt guys on the set today. I was like, okay. All right, and they're like, so they're going to teach you how to do it. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? They're going to teach you how to do it. So we had, our stunt coordinator was, his name is Stunner Sam. Stunner Sam, he was amazing. Ah. And then Stunner Sam would come up to me and go, okay, I'm not even joking to be like, okay, this is the idea. So you're walking down here, you and Vikram are walking down here, and then from here and here and here and here and here and here and under there, everything comes at you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but everything comes at you, and then you do this and you kill that, and then you roll down there, and then you fall down that, and then you get up, and then someone hits you, and then you flip over, and then you go over this thing, and I'm like, oh my god, oh no. And I was like, but for the first time, I was like, well, I've been asking for this for years. Okay. Can I do it now? I've been told, now you, you go and do it. So, but the difference over here is like, you, there is an expectation. I mean, not all stunts. If they're very dangerous, of course, you don't mm -hmm. do it. But there's an expectation over here that if, especially if you're, I suppose, especially if you're a male star, I suppose this is expectation that you have to, you, can you, do you do it? You do the, but it suits me because I like doing fight scenes. I like doing the, that stuff. Vikram is really good. Re and this is the other thing. Because we had this kind of understanding, I trusted him implicitly with, in the fight scenes. I trusted his timing. He trusted me, which is such a gift because a lot of the time, actors can be very uncontrolled. So the big difference, to go back to your question, is approach is very much like do you want to do it okay. if you want to do, you you do it and i'm like okay you know i you know so i i did i have to say i did incur a lot of injuries a lot of injuries um doing it but i don't regret it because what you should see on camera a lot of the time is you don't see you know that weird when you see the stunt man from behind you should see me doing I like you do with Vikram, you see him doing all this stuff. Do you used to watch the monitor of, of the every stunt? I don't like watching myself. I, I don't like it, but there was one time, there was a few times if Ranjit wanted to make a point, he'd say, come and have a look at this. So I could see te something technical, that I was maybe not, you know, but I don't like to watch a monitor because I think there's actors who become obsessed about watching themselves on the monitor, then they start to affect their performance. But um, there are some actors that love, that love watching themselves on the monitor, so. Uh, can you share some of any un unforgettable or any strange incidents in Tangalan? In any location? <laughs> strange incidents? Ah. Viper snakes, cobras, scorpions. Um, what else? Oh, one time, I remember, I was standing there. I was standing there, we're in this little valley. And I was like, just having a little break. And I... I heard someone say uh, in, in Tamil, something in Tamil, but I witnessed 400 people just suddenly go, Vroom. like everyone just laid on the floor and I was the only one standing going, has everyone lost their mind? And then I felt this hand. I can't remember if it was, I'm trying to think who it was. It was, no, I think it was one of the crew, but I felt my, my shirt tug and he pulled me to the ground. I was like, what are you doing? Is everyone gone crazy? He went, no, no, keep still, keep still. And I was like, okay. And I heard this, Ooh. and I was like, what is that, a helicopter? And I, and I looked up like that, and there was this black cloud moving across. It was um, Honey bees. Yeah. a swarm. So what happened is one crew member had been looking, and he'd seen it in the distance and shouted to everyone in Tamil, but I've never seen movement so fast. This was in KGF, KGF. Ah, right? okay. And I was the only one, the Englishman standing. Hello, hello, everyone. And then this guy just went, Vroom. and I tell you what, I've never seen, I was like, it was black. Because yeah. uh, the, the queen was moving, they told me. So they were moving with the queen. And I was like, wow. Because if I'd been standing, they might have seen me as a predator, um, a threat. So that was one, that, I mean, there was millions of things. There was millions of things. I remember my, 
<laughs> okay. It was millions, millions okay. of things. But um, but uh, the heat and the cold and the, there was it was just there was a relentless amount of things. In Okinawa, ah. the in the in the in the river, you'll see the scene. I'm not going to tell you exactly specifically, but you'll see a scene in the river. At, at certain times, it was real because what was happening is maybe we didn't know, but maybe two days before there was water rain in the mountains. Mm. So it takes time for it to come down. So suddenly we'd be in the river and suddenly it'd be like, hang on, this is getting stronger. This is really getting stronger. Now the water was up to like here mm. and you're like looking and you can see this flood and you're thinking, I know how this is gonna look in the headlines. British actor dies in India. <laughs> British actor gets swept to his death down river. <laughs> like, well, all, all, the under, all the other Indian actors survive, but the British actor dies. And I was thinking, I'm gonna die here. But actually, I'm gonna die in such a beautiful place that it's actually not that bad. Uh, but yeah, there was, I mean, there was a million things. I could tell you all day long, man. I'm curious to know this. Uh, did you watch any movies in Tamil? Theater, yeah, I, in theater? Yeah, of course. I, I had to, not theater, no, but, I, I had to watch, immediately watch a Tamil movie because remember I was, after I'd met Paranjit on, on a Zoom call, I had to know what his work was. So the first film I put on, interestingly, it wasn't Madras. It was just because it was the first film that came up, but it was uh, Saparta. And I was like this by the end. I was like, okay, this is an Indian Tamil filmmaker, right? Doing a film which reminds me of certain filmmakers in Hollywood, like Spike Lee. Mm. Spike Lee is also a very strong social commentator. He comments on communities and the struggle in those communities, very alike. But there was a little bit of Tarantino in there. There was, I mean, you know, with the, with the cut, the, shot, the, the shots and the, the way it's very stylized and, um, and it's very just, full, energized, and I was just, I was really excited by his filmmaking. Um, and I just thought, wow, this Tamil stuff is exciting, man. So when I started to talk to people to get some advice about Tamil cinema, everybody, even people I know in Bollywood, were like, man, Tamil cinema, cinema is where it's at right now. It's, it's raw. There's something fresh about it, and it's something different to Bollywood. And you should you should do that. You know you should do. So I was like, I'm doing this, man. I, I mean, so yeah. To answer your question, no, I hadn't seen anything in the cinema, but um, I'd what you know, I had to watch his stuff. To, How excited are you to watch Tangalan? My theaters? friend Raul, right? You have no idea how excited I am. I have purposely not watched it. The cast have not watched it because we wanna. We are all adamant we're going to experience it together okay. as a cast and we're going to experience it. We want to experience it with the, an Indian audience, a Tamil audience. So I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do, where we're going to go, which theater we're going to be at, okay. but we're going to try and sneak in when the audience are going to watch it, to watch it. So, uh, but obviously there's the press launch as well. Um, but no, I'm, I really want to see it. Look, I, I can't sit here Nobody can to say my performance is going to be amazing. I don't know. I don't know. I can only tell you I tried my hardest. I can only tell you that Pa Ranjit tried his hardest. Vikram, Parvati, Malavika, Pasupadi. We all pushed ourselves way beyond. I think the audience are going to see something special here, right? I'm just, you know, Thangalan, everyone's been waiting for it. It's something different, something very different. I really pray that you guys like it. I really hope, but you can never say, you can never say, yes, everyone's going to love it. In Indian cinema, yeah. we are used to watch the English actors as only antagonist. Do you want to explore any other things in Indian cinema? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, this has been a big conversation with me. I've been talking to a lot of people in India about this. The only, yes, Lord Clement, my character is, is antagonist, but but he's not cliche. So Pa Ranjit wanted to avoid cliche. We, Because I said to him, listen, I, Ranjit, I, I don't want to come there 
and do a character like, I'm the British imperialist. My character, Clement, is, is a bit of an outsider. So I came at the role, like, he doesn't really look down on these people. He doesn't look down on the villagers. He just, he needs them. He needs to use them. But apart from the fact that if they're, they're villagers and stuff, he doesn't care. So I approached it that way, and Ranjit let me approach it that way. And he, my character's got different levels, which has not been seen before. Plus, the fact it's a parallel lead to Vikram is not been seen before. So Ranjit is trying to do something different. What I, what I see most of the time, and I, I saw it in RRR. I loved RRR because it was fun. I loved it. I, it's like a great, you're watching it with a popcorn movie, and you're like, oh, this is fun. I love the images and everything else. But what I noticed is, I'm sure you noticed, is the British characters were, again, the same British characters. So my view is, and I've spoken to people in the film business here, I'm like, guys, start to change that thing because India is on the verge of becoming the most powerful industry in the world, if not already. But the only thing that's missing here is the international feel because all the stories are very much about India, you know, wh whichever region it is, the North, the East, the South, the West. But the difference is in Hollywood, it's about anything, the, the world. International actors go over there. Indian actors are now going to Hollywood. But there's no reason, look at me, there's no reason why Western actors can't do Indian films. Why not? But it's got to be interesting roles. It can't just be the Imperial again, the, you know, the imperialist, the, the oppressor. Yes, that is an important part of India's history. You have to explore it. You have to talk about it. Even now, that's absolutely understandable. But there's a rich abundance of stories we could do. How about the British spy that comes over here that works alongside the Indian spy? Or how about, it could be anything. Yeah. You know, it could be, you could have a multitude of stories that the Indian public would go, yeah, this is interesting. So that's what I would love to do that. I'd love to do different. That was a beautiful uh, illustration. Many directors are watching this interview. Thank you so much for the interview and thank you. No, so no, no, pleasure. Ro, lovely to so meet you. That's... Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Chimbu Devan Iyakathil Comedy King Yogi Babu Nadipil Boat Vetri Nadai Podigirudhu. Raj Kamal Films International Ulaganayagan Kamalhasan Valangum Sivakarthikeyan Nadikum Amaran October 31, Diwavali Mudal Ulagamengum.